We've all heard the phrase, absence makes the heart grow fonder, but more couples are forced into close quarters because of the COVID-19 pandemic. Rachel and Harold Earls have been through both scenarios, and now they're sharing their story. Como's Denise Whitaker reports. This couple's love affair is like a made-for-TV movie. Harold Earls proposes to Rachel. They marry. Then Harold leaves her to climb Mount Everest. It's a dream he started planning as a single man. Given the 6.5% fatality rate on Everest, he thought to leave his young bride something before he left. Hey, honey. I think I guess if you're listening to this, it's because I'm dead. I left her a farewell message in case I didn't come back. Left behind for more than two months, Rachel faced many struggles alone, but was there when her husband needed her. I'd gotten a stomach bug, and I called her on the satellite phone. We got to keep moving. You can do this. I thought at the time I wasn't going to be able to do it. And so the empathy that she had just to wrap her arms around me over the phone and just say, hey, I'm here for you, I'm listening, was huge, and it's something that stuck with me forever. Harold did make it to the top of Mount Everest with a group of veterans. And now, in these times of uncertainty, he and Rachel share their struggles to help others. When it comes to communication, you have to remember you're a team. So whatever trial that you're facing, you're facing that together. It's not me against my husband, it's us against whatever we're facing. And when there's tension or stress, one of them will say, recess. That means they can reset the conversation to be more kind to one another. We have a two-year-old that is banging on a thing right now. Oh, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> that two-year-old has a one-year-old brother, so that's another Earl's family strategy. The two spend time together with no distractions after they've got Leo and Wyatt to bed. Harold, a captain in the U.S. Army, and Rachel, a video blogger, now share their first year of married life in their new book, A Higher Calling.